Hello, in this video, we'll see a trick by which you can save a lot of time while writing automation for the new functionalities or while fixing the bugs. So let's take an example of uh, this website. So if you see that there is a login page that I have to always log in to get into this site. Okay, let's say I have to automate some portion on this leave place, right? Where let's say I'll type Gaurav and if I type something like this, this invalid comes, right? So my intention is to automate this page, but every time I will write some type of code and I want to test that I have to go through login. Okay, let's assume that you will have to check that even two factor authentication is also there, right? So it will waste a lot of time of yours. Okay, let's try to solve this problem. Hello, my name is Gaurav Khurana and this is my channel Udjial, which is a Polish word, which means share. So let's quickly come back to the topic. So this is the problem that uh, sometimes the actual automation is on fifth screen, right? But you have to wait for it. Sometimes the automation scripts take too much time to reach that step. And when you are debugging it, you have to run it again and again. So it wastes a lot of your time, right? So what we can do in that case? So what we can do is there is already an open browser where you are already on that page. So for example, uh, in my Chrome browser, I am already on this page. Okay. Now Selenium will start from here, but how? Even in one of my interview questions, it was asked that avoid the login and just automate this thing. But at that time I didn't knew that, okay, how can I avoid the login? Because Selenium will have to write the get command, right? But we can do it. Let's see it how. So we'll open the browser, take it to that uh, place with ourselves without using automation and then we will hand over the browser to selenium okay how to do this so there are two simple things that we have to do first thing is start the browser on a particular port right so i have started on 9111 port and give the path of your uh, directory right so whenever you open Chrome browser, there is a profile that gets created for you, right? That's why when you log into Gmail, you see that you are not asked passwords and all, right? So it picks from these things, right? So what I did was, so this is my command prompt. If you see it's empty and let me close this browser, right? Now the browser is not running. So I'll run the command that I showed you. Okay, chrome.exe. It's generally present in this path. In Mac also, the path would be a little different, but the logic would remain same, right? So you can just check it out what is there in Mac. So once I start it, it will launch the Chrome browser for me. Okay, let me press enter. Now the Chrome browser will open, right? I will take the Chrome browser to whatever place I want. So this is the website, right? And I want to automate this leave part of it. Okay, and here I type Gaurav, right? And if you see invalid is coming, so I have to validate that whether this invalid is coming or not coming, right? So now I did the prerequisite. I have already written the code. Let me show you the code. So this is the line that I was showing you that you have to, in Chrome options, you have to set the experimental option debugger address. This is the home address of like localhost we call it and this is the same IP address I mentioned. So you can comment the code that is before. So if you are doing BDD, right? So you can comment some of these steps so that because you are not going to driver.get login and all right. So all of those code you can comment out. So if you see I'm directly clicking on search. So let's see if it runs successfully or not. So what I'm doing is I'm checking that whether this is displayed or not and I'm trying to click on the search button on this browser, which is already opened, right? So if my code will not work, then it will fail because uh, I have not run the get command, right? Without get command, the code can fail if it does not has a browser. And you will notice that it will not open any browser for me because it will connect to this browser. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so it ran successfully. It say that able to see invalid, right? Let me change this to make it valid, right? Then it should fail just to make sure that we are doing it right. Okay. So 
So simple thing we did, we started the browser on a particular port and then we connected that port to, uh, to Selenium using this command, right? This time, if you see, it got failed because it cannot find valid on this and you might have noticed that there is no new browser that got opened for me, right? So these are the two things we did. I'll just check in this code on my GitHub repo. You can find it in the comment. So hope you like it and share it with people so that they can save a lot of time while doing automation and uh, while fixing the bugs. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel.